<laughs> Honey Heart C. Hello, 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 meaty fans. Today we are going to be doing a super fun craft today using this. Bruh, bruh, Dollar Tree horse. If you guys remember, I actually did a Dollar Tree hunt video where I found a bunch of Dollar Tree horses. And this gray beauty right here is one of those models right here. So you can actually get this one at the Dollar Tree. So just $1. And she is gonna get a little bit of a makeover today. So I'm gonna completely remodel this horse right now. Here we go. Go. So the first thing you wanna do with any craft project is protect your work surface. So here I have some wax paper down. Now to create my unicorn, I wanna do a couple things to this model. I think her tail looks okay, but I want the unicorn's hair to be a little bit longer. And I like the feathers that these two unicorns have on their feet. So I'm just gonna be using some air dry clay. This one right here is one of my favorite air dry clay. I don't have any problems with cracking or anything with it. So I'm just gonna pinch off a little piece here. Whoop. And I'm gonna take my model and I'm just going to take my hair and I'm just gonna mold her a brand new mane. And you can do it any way you possibly could think of, any way you want. And you can dip your hand in a little bit of some water to help kind of smooth the clay out and kind of get it a little bit easier to work with. I'm just gonna press this on her just like that. So I've got some water right here. So I'm just dipping my finger in it and just kind of rubbing my hand over the mane and it just just kind of helps smooth it into the model already. So I'm just kind of smoothing it and smoothing it wherever I want her hair to go. And now I'm gonna take a toothpick to add in the details. Smushing a unicorn's mane on. And I'm just gonna take a toothpick. I don't have any fancy tools, so anything that you can think of to kind of create some mane details, I'm just gonna scratch those in. Do, do, do. Use a little bit of some water. If you make any mistakes, you can just use the water to erase anything away. And of course, you can make any type of mane you want. Like this unicorn right here has a pretty cool mane, how it's all kind of bunched in the front here. That's really cool. And a little bit longer in the back. But I think mine is just gonna be just kind of a basic -y mane. Da -da -da. And it looks like this clay is really working out good. Just I just kind of pull at it at the bottom here and it kind of makes like a little bit of some hair strands. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do. I'm gonna work on the piece in the front. Do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. So I'm gonna leave some room for my horn that's actually gonna be on her. So I'm just going to kind of bunch it and just kind of create it however you want to do it. So maybe this one is almost covering her eye because this piece is so long in her front here. There we go, this is looking pretty good. I think I'm liking how this is looking. And I can just go back and clean up any extra clay that I don't kind of like. Just make sure it's nice and smooth. I want it nice and smooth on her body here. Do do do, just take my finger and just erase where any clay went that I don't want it to be. Like around her eye, I wanna keep all those eye details. There we go, she's looking real good. Now for her feet, just gonna add a little tiny pinch of clay and using some water, I'm just going to mold the little pieces on and make sure it gets real smooth when it's onto the body. And same thing, I'm just gonna kinda just do a little bit of some feathering, just kinda pinch it with my finger so I like how it looks and just do the detail with my toothpick. Do -do 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 -do. There we go, that looks good. All right, the horse is looking pretty good. I really like the little feathers that I put on. All right, so now what I'm going to actually fix on this model is the little seam lines that the horse has. You can see that the horse, when it was molded, had a neck piece that was totally separate from its body, so they had to attach its neck on, and you can see this little line right here. So I wanna actually fill that in, because you can actually feel it, because if I were to put some paint on it, so I just have some acrylic paint here, if I just were to paint it, you can actually see the line on the horse there. You see how you can kind of see it? So we're going to actually fill that in. Whoop. Now with regular customizing, people just usually just sand it off, but I'm actually going to smooth it out using some Mod Podge. Da -da 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 -da. So I'm just going to take my model and I'm just going to fill in that line here. Boop -a -doo. Just like that. So any of the really harsh seams, I'm just gonna kind of paint over them with some Mod Podge, leaving it really thick inside of the seams. Do -do -do. Horse is looking real good. Now he just has to sit and completely dry. 
Ooh. All right, so now the unicorn has had a chance to dry overnight, so the mane is now nice and on here. And this little crack on the neck now should look a little bit better. See now whenever I put paint on it, it does not look as obvious now that there was a big giant fat neck seam there. It could possibly use a second coat, but I'm just gonna paint it the way it is. So I'm just going to now start painting my model. So I'm gonna get its body all completely white. All right, now I'm gonna create the horn for the unicorn and I'm actually just gonna reuse that toothpick that I used to make the mane and the little feathers on its feet. I mean, why not just reuse, right? So just decide exactly how long you want your unicorn horn. I mean, it could be as crazy long as you want it to be or as teeny tiny. I think I'm liking about that length right here. So I'm just going to take my scissors and cut it. Whoop, and just kind of double check that this is exactly how I like my horn. Still a little touch long. There we go, I think that looks about right. And again, I'm just gonna use my air dry clay. Take a tiny little pinch. I'm just going to kind of just wrap it using a lot of water. So I'm dipping my fingers in some water and I'm just kind of wrapping some of this clay around the horn to kind of give it a little bit more dimension to it. And you can make your horn look however you want. You can make it spirally. You can make it just kind of like crookedy, like a stick. There's no wrong way when you are crafting and creating. So I just like to just kind of roll mine out. Now that the horn is all dry, I'm just going to glue it right onto the unicorn. So I just have some Elmer's glue. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue right where I want it to be and just apply the horn. Kind of hold it for a second while it kind of takes place. Now I'm just gonna keep on painting her with white paint. And a third coat. Color in that tail. All right, now that the coat color is all on, the fun part is putting in some color. So I really like how this unicorn is with the matching mane and feathers. It's both the same color here. So I think I'm gonna do something like that for this unicorn. So I'm gonna use this very soft purple. Give it a good shake. Put a little bit of some paint on my paintbrush. Now I'm going to actually dip it in some water like that, dab some water off on a paper towel, and then I'm just gonna paint, making sure I have lots of water on my brush. There we go. And just paint, 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 paint. Do, 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 do. Make sure you get the inside leg too. Don't forget the inside. And I'll probably just have this go all the way up here. So I just added a little bit more water to my brush to have it go all the way up to its hawk to kind of help blend that color. Do, 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 do. There we go. That looks really good for the first coat. So I'm gonna do this same thing. Put lots of water on my brush and just really just pull that color up, 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 up the horse's leg. And the higher up I go, the more water I add to my brush. Ba -ba 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 -ba. La -da -da. Do -do 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 -do. And paint the tail. Do -do -do. Now I'm gonna apply a second coat on the legs using the same technique. I've just putting a little bit of some dark paint on the feathers, using water on my brush to help draw out the color onto the rest of the leg, and using more and more water as I go up the leg. And then to soften some of the little purple fading, I'm just going to go back to my body color, this creamy white color, and just kind of paint it on and just kind of fade it in. Fading is looking really, really good on the legs. And if you want to, you can take a little bit of some paint on your brush and actually paint it on the horse. It's a little bit of purple dipped in with a little bit of some white and then you can kind of blend the colors together as well. Kind of right in the middle to kind of get that color to fade and blend in. Okay, now I wanna add in a little light touch of some pinking onto her muzzle. So I'm gonna use some of this acrylic paint, Think Pink. Give it a good shake. So I'm gonna take a little bit 
of some pink on my paintbrush, just a little bit, and I'm going to swirl it on a piece of wax paper, but dip lots of water on my brush, and I'm gonna dab it on a paper towel, dip it a little bit more in some water so it's nice and light, and then I'm going to lightly touch her muzzle here to kind of add just a little bit of some pinking. So there's a lot of water on my brush, as you can see. There's almost barely any color. It's just super watered down. Just a little bit of some pink. And I'm also gonna add just a little touch of pink to her belly, just so it adds just a little tiny touch of coloring. And how about a tiny touch around her eyes as well? Just a little bit of pink and a little bit in her ears. Okay, I think this unicorn would look perfect with a silver metallic horn and hooves. Give it a shake. Open, open. Ooh, dab a little bit on my paintbrush. And I'm gonna paint in the silver hooves. Ooh, this unicorn is really coming alive now. And underneath these feet. And painting her horn in. Ooh. Now I'll use a tiny touch of black acrylic paint to paint in her eye. I'll add a little bit more detail to her eye using this brown. Ooh, it's melted chocolate. Is that the perfect brown color? Give it a good shake. A little bit of chocolate, a little dot of it in her eye. And then a tiny little dot of black right in the eye. Whoop. The unicorn is looking so amazing. All right, I'm gonna seal in all of the color by using this multi-purpose sealer. Whoop. Give this a really good shake. Dip it on in. A little bit of some water on my brush with it. And just start sealing everything on in. Now the last little final touch is a little bit of some glitter. Just like how these unicorns have glittery manes. Let's just add a little sparkle to the horse. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Glitter in the tail. Do -do 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 -do. Glitter on the feathers, on their feet, and on the mane. Do -do -do. <laughs> Ooh, we got a bunch of Dollar Tree ponies waiting right here, waiting to see what the new horse looks like. Come on out, new unicorn. <laughs> Woo! I think that this Dollar Tree horse has a totally cool new makeover. All right, I am super duper happy with how the unicorn turned out. Look at that glittery mane. So, so glittery. And the tail and the feet too, just so sparkle. And the super duper cool little unicorn horn. And of course, the very detailed eyes now. Just a reminder of what the horse look like before here we go so you can definitely see just totally totally different and of course because i put a new mane on this horse this is what the mane looked like before and i totally extended it out gave a really long beautiful unicorn horn and added feathers to the horse's little feet so it looked a little bit more majestic and just whimsical so seriously you can transform these dollar tree horses into anything you want all you need is a little imagination and some paint all right i hope you mini fans enjoyed this video of creating this Dollar Tree unicorn. If you happen to take any Dollar Tree horses and to transform them and customize them, please send me the photos. I would love to see your creations. That would be just so, so, so cool. I hope this video inspired you. Always create magic in your life, mini fans, and I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye, minis! Woo! Follow the unicorn! This pink heart is really cool, but I think one of the unicorns had it during the video. Which unicorn had this pink heart? The blue and white unicorn, the rainbow foal, or the pink foal? Who had the pink heart? <laughs>